Hi everyone, my name is Sharon and welcome to my channel as I usher you into your healing and greatness. Thanks a lot for tuning in and thank you for subscribing and thanks for the love that you continuously show me on this channel. The message that I have for someone today is that you must not let your God-given spouse pass you by just because they are not picture perfect, just because they are not what you expected them to be, just because they are not yet a finished product. Some of you, you are expecting that when your spouse comes, it will be someone who's already very successful, someone who's already very wealthy, already has so much money or houses or has a certain type of job. But God is saying that disregard those things. Those things, they, they are not what are, is going to qualify you for, for marriage. I, I remember with me, when my spouse came into, into the picture, he was not picture perfect. I even remember the first day when he came, the clothes that he was wearing, mm -mm, they were off. And the car that he was driving, no, it was off. His financial status, it was off. It was not at the level that I expected it to be. It was not at the level where I wanted it to be. But even me, in my case, I was not that perfect, picture perfect spouse. My image was not right. And I even remember at the time, I even had um, bleeding gums. Just imagine gums that were bleeding and I wouldn't notice and he would notice that my gums were bleeding. So even me, there were so many things that were not right with me, yet he chose me to be to be his spouse and I chose him to be to be my husband. So God is saying that a person will not come into your life as a finished product. That that, that is why God is in his word, he says that. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. So, so many of you, your destinies are tied into those spouses. So that spouse is not going to reach that right level or the level that God wants them to be at until they are married to you. It's only going to be you who's going to bring that favor into their into the into their life they are only going to become very wealthy or very successful by being connected to you i'm also noticing this also with my own spouse his life is getting to the level where i want it to be because of marriage because of the favor that is within marriage but if you meet someone and already disregard them because of their status or because of their financial or whatever kind of status, you are going to miss out on the person that God has made for you. I, if you can also read, if you can read from the book of First Samuel, chapter twenty-five. So this is the story of of Abigail, who eventually became David's wife. So this story, Abigail was already married to a very rich man called Nabal. But this man was evil. So when David moved in closer to their area, he started taking him and his servants. They started taking care of, of Nabal's properties, though Nabal didn't assign them to. So they were taking care of his, of his sheep and his goats and making sure that the servants were not mistreated in any way. So one day, uh, David sent a message to, to Nabal and said, can you please just give me and my servants anything that you have, any food supplies and water. And Nabal was so mean to them, he refused. And then so David became very angry and then wanted to destroy Nabal's household. And then when the message reached Abigail, Abigail acted very quickly. So she packed uh, the food items for David and his servants and then went and begged David not to destroy her household. And then she also declared blessings upon David's life. And, and, and at this time, although David was already anointed as king, 
he was not yet appointed as king. So it means that he was not yet enjoying his kingship benefits. It means that his image was not yet, his image was not yet right. He was not yet very rich, very wealthy. He was not yet the king. So, but look at what um, Abigail did. Let me read this scripture for you. So it's in 1 Samuel chapter 25, let, from verse 28, it says, Please forgive your servant's presumption. The Lord your God will certainly make a lasting dynasty for my Lord, because you fight the Lord's battles, and no wrongdoing will be found in you as long as you live. Even though someone is pursuing you to take your life, the life of my Lord will be bound securely in the bundle of the living by the Lord your God. By the lives of your enemies, he will howl away as from the pocket of a sling. When the Lord has fulfilled for my Lord every good thing he promised concerning him and has appointed him ruler over Israel, my Lord will not have on his conscience the staggering burden of need needless bloodshed or of having avenged himself. And when the Lord your God has brought my Lord success, remember your servant. So these are the words that she was saying to to David. So she was pleading for mercy and also also declaring blessings over his life. So after she had done that, uh, uh, David decided not to not to avenge. And then when she went and told her husband what had happened, the husband had a heart attack and he died. And then days later, David went and asked for a hand in marriage. Look at this verse. If you can read from still 1 Samuel chapter 25, verse 40. It says, His servants went to Carmel and said to Abigail, David has sent us to you to take you to become his wife. She bowed down with her face to the ground and said, I am your servant and am ready to serve you and wash the feet of my Lord's servant. Lord's servant. So, so just look at Abigail. Abigail already had a, a rich man, but she saw potential in David. And when she saw that potential in David, she declared blessings over him. And eventually David became her, her husband. So God is saying that when you see potential, in this person, although they are not picture perfect, declare blessings. Abigail declared blessings over David and David eventually became successful. David eventually became very successful, prosperous, wealthy, all these things because there was a woman by his side who believed in him. So God is saying that he has got, he is going to send people who don't seem picture worthy perfect worthy for you it's not someone that you'll be able to brag about on social media posting fancy cars fancy holidays or all these things but god is saying that because that person is with you it will be your duty your responsibility to plead favor for them on behalf of god to go to god and say bless their lives oh lord it will be your responsibility and because they are assigned to you and because they are connected to you their destiny shall be bright their life will be bright so if you look at the story of david and abigail david was not yet king but abigail agreed to serve david abigail agreed to become david's wife so god is saying that don't block the person that he has sent into your life just because they don't seem right at the moment they are not right at the moment, but once they are connected to you, once they are married to you, you will see that their life will start to progress. Those doors that were, were closed up, they will start opening before you because now his life is attached to you. His blessings are attached to you. So if you block them, if you block that person that God has set for you, you are also going to block your own blessings in life. 
Don't just look at the covering. Don't just look at the packaging of the people who are around you. You might find that that person that you are undermining, who doesn't fit your status at the moment, is that person who is meant to be in your life. So God is saying that don't disregard someone based on their status. He is still able to turn their life around. When they are attached to you, their life is going to turn around. Thanks a lot for watching my channel. I hope you were blessed. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, to hit the notification bell, to share the video, and also watch more of my other videos. May God bless you as you meet up with your God-ordained spouse. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.